Let's do this, man. Let's play some more Mega Man 11. Let's do what needs to be done. Yo, am I gonna get through that screen? There it is. Yeah, total playtime says 4502, because I watched the credits. Yeah, no, that was good though. At least I got another, like, 40 time. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. We can do all the things that we need to do. There's so many things I need to do. So many little things throughout the run. Ah, oh, dude. I didn't get my jump. Right in between all my bullets. How did that pickaxe get in there, man? What magic was that? What was that witchcraft? This warlock over here. This witch doctor. That was no science, I'll tell you what. That was a good boss fight, or mini boss fight. But can we not die with a spike jump? If we die, we die. No reset run. Hey, we didn't die. Barely, barely made those jumps, oh my goodness. Alright, pretty decent stage. I made a couple mistakes, but it was pretty good overall. I didn't, I didn't get the second connection on the first double blast, and like, I waited to use that power gear, cause uh, I didn't want to miss it, cause like, I have a habit of turning off and turning back on the double gear, when I see his fourth action is to use pile driver into the wall, then I generally don't get the timing on the double charge, so I tried to focus on getting the timing of the double charge, I still missed it. It was close, I almost had it, it is a very tight window. Uh, would you say Impact Man is the most difficult stage? Absolutely. Uh, Speedrun-wise. Speedrun-wise, it is the most difficult stage. Casually, it's definitely one of the more difficult stages. Um, like, it depends on your playing level. Like, I would say Bounce Man can be, like, one of the hardest stages for, like, newcomers. Um... 
But if they can like deal with the physics, then yeah, I would say Impact Man stage is probably the hardest to do first. It looks really intense, it really is. It's a very intense stage. Torchman hardest? Uh, Torchman definitely is difficult for sure. Got it started, I didn't get the whole charge. Yeah, I don't think of Torchman as hard anymore because of how many times I've played this game. But if I actually think about, you know, my first time playing through and me watching uh, other people's first times through, uh, some people have a lot of trouble with the firewalls. They don't use speed gear. Almost. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I don't have the good RNG I had last time I was on this stage. Not so much. Not dying on Tundra Man stage. <laughs> Not dying on Tundra Man stage it makes me very happy. Okay, let's not mess up this fight. Alright, good boss fight. Like, we messed up the mini boss, but it's like. The mini boss is impossible. <laughs> Getting the positioning on that thing. It takes everything. It was a clean stage? It was a clean stage. The only thing that, like, slowed us down was the mini boss, and, like. It, it's completely skill based. The uh, mini boss is not RNG, it is completely skill based, but the positioning is so exact. Like, to see the pixels in a 3D game like this is quite difficult. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, I missed the shot. Good RNG, got the extra drop. Oh, you owe money. What are you doing? Automod doesn't like you? That's unfortunate. Automod can be a real stickler. We got the baby spider. Our arch nemesis is defeated. Yo, Denison, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming by. Good luck, yo. I appreciate it.
that was nice. Automod doesn't like anyone. Yo, Automod, yeah, Automod can be kind of a kind of a meaning. I kinda wanted to hit him. I saw his invincibility frames going away, because he did the dive kick. If he's in the middle of the dive kick, then like he takes that extra time to set up into his invincibility. But I wasn't brave enough to like go for it. Not, not quite. I wanted to, I really did. If I practice it out, maybe. If I ever practice that out, I'll go for it, but... I wasn't feeling it right there, I was like, let me not lose like 10 seconds, because I decided to do something I've never done in a run before. I never die on those spikes in that room. It's yet to happen, but oh my goodness. I could I can't I can't get the weapon swap! Oh my goodness. You're not wrong, Amane. And yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed not, and I did not slide at the start of this room. I didn't want to die like I did last time. Like, sliding at the start is not a death sentence, but I just didn't want to risk it. I wasn't feeling brave. Yes, I know you have a short fuse. Last man. Let's time that a bit. Uh, you saw the North America tweet he made about the DLC? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> no Zaba Jones. He has a short fuse because he's blast men. Temper, bombs, all that. Gold split? Gold? Like G-O-L-D gold. Like, the real stuff. Yeah? I mean, I know I didn't die, but... I didn't- I didn't feel like... I was gold-worthy. <laughs> Yo, we take those. Ready. Oh, I got over the guy. I don't always get over him. My positioning there is not perfect. One day. I bumped my head on the ceiling twice. I hate that, man. Like, I can't even see the difference. I can't hit him anymore. I've lost the timing. I don't know- I don't know what happened to me. But I can't hit that guy anymore. It's impossible. Whew. 
I made some slight movement mistakes, but nothing too bad. I'm scared every single time I do the Blockman fight. Every time. As you miss it, and it's just like, what, 30, 40 seconds gone? <laughs> oh, I got another block bed gold split! Oh, it didn't feel like it, but I'll take it. I need this, because we're going to lose 20 seconds here and bounce them in again. Oh, jeez. Hate this stage. Hate this stage so much. Not the best start. Swap. I should always swap there. I tried so hard not to die, dude. Was I too high or too low? Ugh, I couldn't even see it. It all happened so fast. I die there, like, I want to say like 50% of the time. I put so much practice into this stage, that's what makes it so brutal. Okay. Yeah, might be losing a bit more than them 20 seconds I keep talking about. Yeah, 
I messed up the beginning of the stage, and I messed up the uh, pile driver section after the first mini boss. And I died in that stupid section, man. It was a death, not just a tiny baby mistake. It's gonna be okay, Banks. We can make this work. I hate this stage. I hate Bounce Man stage. Someone make it go away. Make this stage go away and never come back. Yeah, lost 19 seconds. I guess, you know, as, as usual. It's not surprising. On average, I lose 20 seconds here. On average. It's completely normal. But that's fine, because I can PB even with the 20 second time loss. Oh my goodness, this video game sometimes. I shouldn't grab that with something else. I mean, I don't even know where I would use the impact, to be completely fair. I think I can do this. Finally! Finally I didn't rock my head on any lasers. It's been too long. Shandai, hey, what's good? You're nothing much. Just doing some no reset runs of Mega Man 11 with the insane hope that one of these runs will give me the uh, sub 40. I'm trying to get it. I really am. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta relearn Fuse Man stage. I feel like I could do that stage so much better if I like. You know, I really sat down and looked at it. Not scrubbing out's always a surprise to me, none.
Alright, are we in the right spot? Yes, there's no. Good man. We can grab that with something good. Oof. Head <laughs> just short of his face. I've yet to jump into those ones, but it could happen. Giant ammo drops, man. But it's like, I don't know they're gonna be there. <laughs> Challenge the spikes, assert your dominance. That's a terrible idea. I will not win that trade. Oh, good acid fight. Let's go. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. It's really, really nice. We're not like 20 seconds ahead like we were last time, but I don't I don't need to be 20 seconds ahead. I just need to not scrub out on the Wily stages, man. I didn't make any massive mistakes on this stage, but that's cool. Like, my Yellow Devil fight, like, I'm so consistent, but it's so scary. Save hell for Malrin? I'll try, man. 
I'm gonna try to take like all the easy baby strats. See what happens. Uh oh. There's someone's raid me, or whoever. Yo, Bean Jr., thanks for the raid, man. How you doing? Yo, you came just in time, man. You came just in time. Got to see the sub 40 happen. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, and that messed me up. It was like, I had so much more impact than what I normally have, so I was having a lot of conflicting decisions in certain situations. I can't swap weapons to save my life, man. I cannot swap weapons to save my life. It's just way too hard. <laughs> Not a flawless Malvern, but a good enough one. Stay calm. All right, we got this. As long as I don't mess up impact man and block man. Enough. Congrats, Bean Jr. That's awesome, man. Happy for you.
<laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I'm really focused on the run right now. I'm really focused. Mess up block man. I didn't I didn't mess up block man. I did mess up block man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Alright, not the best acid man, but there's a huge difference between messing up Block Man and messing up Acid Man. <sighs> Stupid Bounce Man costed me that time. That wasn't Acid Man's fault, that was Bounce Man. Really good phase one. That's that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see, man. It's just the beginning. Choking again. Ah, oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, Thirty-nine forty-one. Thirty-nine forty-one. I got it, dude. Yo, Wheat Bread just subscribed to the tier one sub. Yo, thank you very much, Wheat Bread. Yo, you are the best, man. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, oh, I wanted, I wanted this sub 40. I wanted this sub 40 for so long, man. Ah, oh, I've been, I've been playing this game so much, 
every single day. Yo, Notton donating $40. Oh my goodness, are you serious, dude? Yo, Notton, man. Yo. Oh my goodness, Notton's way too nice. Way too nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, Notton. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yo, all the Pog Champs. Yo, the got goods? Yo, we did it, man. We did this. Uh, why is my thing? I can't see his message. Uh, it'll, it'll pop up, yo. Not, and thank you so much, man. Yo, we... Uh, yo, sub 40 hype. Every penny deserved. Congratulations. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. And what is that? Three got goods. That's a rare legendary command. No one uses the got good, man. Oh, dude, that feels nice. That feels real nice. Yo, you were just quiet and lurks, but you're glad you were here for it? Yo, it's all good, man. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't very talkative that run. I was, like, just so laser-focused on the game, man. I was so focused. Especially after Bounce Man, dude. Because we just we threw those 20 seconds straight into the Bounce Trash Can. I mean, like, I was expecting to pay that. Like, that's just the toll. That's just the toll. You go through the stage. Excuse me, that's gonna be 20 seconds, please. <laughs> but I only have 16. I'll still be taking 20 seconds. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> that's fair bounce, man. And we just, we carried on, dude. We got the gold split in Acid Man, and like, we were just, we were so legit everywhere. And yo, Bean Jr. donating the $10 saying, good job on the run, here's the $50. Yo, snap. <laughs> yo, we've had this donation goal like all week. You know, the $50 if I was gonna do the bonus stream on Thursday. I didn't think we'd be hitting that amount. <laughs> Cause we were at zero. But now we're at 50. Yo, thank you so much, Bean Jr. Much appreciation, man, on the follow-up behind Notton. Yo, oh my goodness. Yo, put the votes to XCOM? Yo, I got you. I got you. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yo, let me open up that variety games list. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so happy. So many clean runs? Yo, thanks, man. See, this is, this is the secret. This is what I should have been doing the other day. I should have been doing the no reset runs, the no reset runs where it's at. <laughs> Yo, Adara! Yo, Adara! Oh my goodness, with the 1,000 bits, dude! 1,000 Pog Champ uh, Party Try Hard of Ohio bits! <laughs> Yo, getting all sorts of celebration going on right there. I see you, Adara. Thank you very much, good sir. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. I'm so happy. I'm so incredibly happy. I can't even- I can't even tell you guys. Yo, and the 10 votes to Super Mario Maker as well? Yep, yep. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Congrats, man. You deserved it. Yo, I appreciate it. I really do. Sean Dyson saying, it's been a rough couple of weeks, but all that dedication was worth. Yes, I knew- I knew I could do it, Sean I knew I could do it. Because it was like- um, what was it, like two weeks ago was when I got like the 41 and I had, I had like a, um, a low sub, uh, low 40, uh, sum of best. And I was like, oh man, I really, I really want to push this. I feel like I could get sub 40. I feel like I could. And then I think on Saturday, like two weeks ago, I think I got it down that low, but I got sick so I couldn't play for a little while. I was really sick. But then this week. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Mega Man 11, Mega Man 11, Mega Man 11, Mega Man 11, Mega Man 11! I just played the game every single day, both on stream and practicing off stream. Five hours a day, dude, minimum. Oh my goodness. And we got there, we did it, we did it! Ah, oh, jeez, jeez. Uh, by the way, I think that was actually a 3940. It might have been. I definitely split late, but I'm not sure how much time. It felt like an eternity to me, but I know I was like in full speed run mode, so I, I have no idea what the time difference was. <laughs> but uh, I definitely got sub 40. <laughs> that I can tell you. <laughs> uh, Wheat Bread was saying, GG, man, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, man. I'm so happy right now. You need to get going, but you stuck around, didn't want to jinx the run? Yo, it's all good! Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Bean Jr. saying my new SMO times, 121.09. Yo, we're both just getting PBs, Bean Jr., that's just how we do. It's all about getting them PBs. 
Johnny says, if you want to PB again, you got to clean up Wily too. Uh, Wily too. Oh yeah, my Mauburn stage? Yeah. I need to completely relearn that stage, man. If I relearn that stage, I feel like I could do it so much better. I really, really do. Oh, my son of best is 38, 36. That's crazy, dude. That's so crazy. I never thought I would have a time this good. Thanks, I tried clipping, but Twitch apparently got bugged on the clip. Yo, rip. And uh, Invisa says, uh, 39, 40, 13. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> now I'll, I'll take your word for it. 39, 40, 13. That sounds good to me. Oh, that's so awesome. By the way, plus 10 to overclock you. I got you in there, no worries. Yo, overclocked, overclocked. That is right there. Went from 5 to 15. Yo, you the best. You missed it, Blastfix, GG? Yeah, no, man, I finally did it. I finally did it. See yourself getting sub 120? You got it, Dean Jr. I believe in you, man. Yo, as long as we put in the time, we can do these things. We can meet these goals. You just got to put in the time. Got to keep trying. Can't give up. And here it is. <laughs> Yo, a narrow with the got good. I see you. Yo, we bred with a follow-up. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy. Jeez, now I gotta run against this. How am I gonna run against this? I mean, like, there's free time in a couple of stages, right? Like, there's free time in Impact Man. Um, not free, but there's definitely time save in Tundra Man. It's not free, though. Uh, Torch Man, there's a little, like, a teensy, teensy bit of time save. But it's not a lot. It's really not. Blast Man's gold. Block Man's gold. No time save. Yo, Tins Doctor here. Thanks, man. And Invisor's saying, uh, oh, you got it? Sorry about the title, though. <laughs> Yo, nah, it's all good, man. Yo, let me keep that open myself so I can, uh, use that when I'm doing my submission. So I can, uh, not forget the time. Yo. <laughs> Yo, with all the emotes, I appreciate it, guys. I really do. But yeah, let's see. So, um, yeah, Bounce Man, there's 20 seconds in Bounce Man if I feel like taking him. I mean, honestly, there's 24. My gold split has another 4 seconds over what the previous PB was. <laughs> previous PB. Uh, Fuse Man's gonna be tough. That's a, that's a pretty good time. There is, there's like 2 seconds there, I believe. Um, Acid Man's gold. <laughs> good luck. Yellow Devil is pretty legit, but there is time save. The Malvern was one of my all-time better Malverns, but there is time save there. I'm just so bad at that stage. I'm not good at the Malvern stage. Um, boss rush. We messed up uh, bounce man, so that's cool. Doctor Wiley. Doctor Wiley wasn't even gold, so you know that's fine. That's dandy. I mean, that was such a good Wiley fight, though. That'll that'll definitely be tough, but we can do this. We can definitely do this. Notton says, "All right, well, now that I finally caught the sub 40 and dropped a big donation." <laughs> I wrote that donation message last Tuesday. I'm gonna dip out now. Yo, it's all good, man. Yo, thank you so much for the gigantic $40 donation, man. My goodness. I wanted that sub 40 so hard, I didn't realize there was a $40 cash prize with it. Uh, we take those though, we do take those. And yeah, let's save, uh, let's save our new PB. Uh, Zaba Jones, you had a couple of unfortunate fights with Acid Man, I think. Um, yeah, Acid Man wasn't as legit as it could have been, but it was, it was still, like, it was on the level. Like, I think I got hit both times, but I, like, maybe lost a second and a half on each Acid Man at best. It wasn't one of those, like, crazy Acid Mans where it's like, whoa, where'd Acid Man go? Why? He's so slippery. I can't hit him with my block dropper. <laughs> nah, that wasn't the case. It wasn't the case. But yeah, bonus stream hype. We met the donation goal, so I'll be streaming Thursday. Which, yeah, what should I play on Thursday, guys? Because, like, it's a bonus stream. So, like I can do whatever you know it's not it's not poor it's not part of the normal schedule like obviously I could do some more Mega Man 11 I could do something else like maybe Mega Man ZX uh, Mega Man uh, base I could do Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn which is the variety game but I didn't play it this week because it was like so hardcore on so playing Mega Man um there's this thing called uh, uh what's it called it's uh Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, but there's this extension called Crowd Control, which makes it so that when people donate bits, and I think it's also just like the first time you show up in the stream or something like that, 
but you can like affect the player. Like you can summon cuckoos, you can outright kill the player, you can uh, steal or give them bombs, steal or give them arrows, you can invert their controls, you can turn the floor into ice, stuff like that. I was thinking about maybe doing a Link to the Past rando if people would be interested in like playing around with that. But I wasn't sure if uh, people would be interested. Let's get another PB, yeah, let's get another PB then. Maybe a variety game since you didn't do it this week? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, normally I do variety, but this week's been a little brutal, man. I wanted I wanted the sub 40. I wanted the sub 40. It took five days of Mega Man straight, but I got it. I got that PV, dude. We did it. Oh, it feels so good, man. It feels so good. Why would you die, Pikmin? Super Mario 64 online? Oh yeah, I've heard about that. I could do that too. I'd be down. I like Super Mario 64. It's, it's my favorite 3D Mario game. Like, I really like Mario Odyssey, and I- well, I lied. I lied. Mario Galaxy is my favorite. But, speedrunning? Speedrunning-wise, 64 is my favorite. Ooh, I shot that way too high and killed myself. So do I just do the no reset run, or do I not care about no resets anymore now that I got the sub 40? Like, I'm down to do no reset still, since that's what I said I was gonna do, but I don't know. <laughs> Rocket! Please! Ah, the bob and weaving of that rocket dude was too good. Too strong. Super Mario Sunshine? Yeah, we could do another Sunshine run too. We could do that. Get reset? Okay, that's one for reset. New, no reset because no stress? Yeah, we could just, you know, take this run a little easy after like the hardness, the ridiculousness of what we've been going through. I'm down. I'm down for the no stress run. It's a nice little casual speed run here. <laughs> casual speed run. When am I going to run tomorrow? Um, I will be starting the stream same time as uh, my normal starting time. So I'll start stream tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, I gotta know what people want me to do. Like, I'm pretty much, you know, letting y'all decide. It's like... I mean, it's just unfortunate, because, like, not in, you know, he donated the hot 40 and then dipped right out, so I can't really get his opinion. Uh... I'm sure Bean Jr. would like to see something Mario-related. I'm sure he would be cool with, uh... Super Mario 64 online. <laughs> cop overclocked, cop. Yo, overclocked is definitely a game. And yeah, that's a it's a short game too, isn't it? I could always do that. I could play multiple games. I don't have to play a game that takes up the whole stream time. I gotta say, I actually feel kind of cool, you know, only being 13.7 behind on Impact Man, <laughs> and that's like with a death. Feels cool, dude. It's a hard stage, man. It's a it's a hard stage that Impact Man. Ooh, you didn't get the jump. I want that, but not so much that I'd walk backwards for it. Not in this wind. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Something multiplayer with viewers? Oh, Street Fighter 5. Oh, no. I'd be down for some Street Fighter. Yeah, I haven't been playing Street Fighter since I started playing Mega Man 11. Like, all my- cause like, Street Fighter 5 was my main game that I played off stream. After, like, Evo, whenever Evo was, I got, like, super hardcore back in Street Fighter V. But as soon as Mega Man came out, <laughs> that just, like, disappeared. All my off-stream time went into this game instead. And the positioning on that fight is so hard. I 
<laughs> Choice Chamber, yeah. I mean, that's why I brought up Zelda. Is Zel uh, the Zelda Link to the Past Rando? I know there's a lot of people that want me to play Zelda. And it has that um, thing, you know, where people can, like, change it, just like Choice Chamber, only Zelda, so, you know, it's something more people would be into, I guess. But it still has that you the uh, viewer's effect to run thing going on. Ooh. Am I dead? Gosh darn it. I didn't, I didn't turn around fast enough. Well, I said it's a no reset run. Gotta keep going. King Brent, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> but hey, how you doing? Pasta bitch, you said? Yeah, I believe so. But not for the, um... Not for the, like, uh, first thing you do. You can definitely, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone that shows up gets to affect the run. I believe that's how it's said. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know what that guy was saying, but I guess it was, like, not good. I will trust my mods. They will defend me from the despicable internet. Ooh, didn't grab it. Didn't grab it! Guess who didn't grab it? <sighs> Did I say this was a no reset run? <laughs> no reset, unless like, you know, it's a game over, obviously. That one doesn't count. It doesn't count. Try that again. Yeah, I don't I don't mind like dying and like uh to continue the run. I like completing runs. Completing runs is fun. I'm not like super hard pressed to like get the PB right now, because I, I just got my PB, dude. I just got the sub 40. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, man. Feels so good. Like I've just I've improved so much since I like first started playing this game. Like, there's still room, there's still room for improvement. I'm not saying, like, oh, I've, I've achieved perfection. You know, I'm not saying I absorb both the androids. I'm just happy. I'm just happy with my progress, that's all. Oh, somebody got my Dragon Ball references. Everyone you watched today had a PB by a large amount? Yo, that's cool, Zombie Jones. Yo, you must be a good luck charm. Yo, you should hang out here more often. I need the luck. Oh, I didn't get my jump. I tried to jump. I didn't get it. You should you, Mr. Pile Driver guy? Zob with the good luck charm, yo. I'll, I'll, I can always use good luck. I will take that any day of the week. Absolutely. I have like no luck, dude. I am not who you would call lucky. I mean, if you saw my runs yesterday, you would know how unlucky I am. For me, it's never, it's never about luck. It's about just trying over, 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 and over again, and eventually, through probability, I will accomplish whatever my luck-based goal is. If luck is involved. I'm the kind of guy that can, um, like, guess head or tails and uh, mess up 14 times in a row. To be fair, I never actually did that with coins, but I did play roulette back in the day. It wasn't with real money, though. It was like a school event, and, like, there were prizes you could win if you won points. But... And you start off with a number of points, and you gamble your points. Again, none of it's real money. Now, obviously, my high school was doing this. And yeah, no, I was playing roulette. You know, it's got black and red. I can't remember if I guessed on black or on red. But, uh, I guessed on it, you know, 14 times. It was the other color. 
every single time. Not green, not green. It'd be a, like, I'd get it. It's like, okay, there's the green. No, every single time it just landed on the opposite color. And I remember, like, I was there, you know, with my friend at the time. And I was just saying, it can't, it can't be wrong every time. And yet it was. It was wrong every time, every single time, 14 times in a row until I had no points left. Oh, it was so sad. Yeah, I definitely messed that up real hard. Work with what you got. Ashanti says, where's the leaderboard for 80% Zeppelin? I don't see it on speedrun and Mega Man leaderboards doesn't have Zeppelin. Um, everyone just submits to any percent right now. Like, um, I don't know when they're going to split the categories, but if you look at all the top times, like, all the top times are zipless or no out-of-bounds. Uh, QTT6 does no out-of-bounds, um, Carter does no out-of-bounds, uh, Fast does no out-of-bounds, Caleb does no out-of-bounds, or he's known as Iceless on the leaderboards. But yeah, like, I don't know any runners of this game with a top time that uh, go out of bounds. Everyone plays Zipless. <laughs> Yo, Controlius, what's up, man? Yeah, we got we got the uh, the sub 40 dude, you missed it. Yo, man, oh, it was so good. You know, Naughton was in here earlier flexing his muscles. The gigantic $40 donation, and then Bean Jr. behind him with the $10 in celebration of the PV. So, I hit my goal. And I'm going to be doing a bonus stream tomorrow, and I'm trying to decide what to play, and I don't know what to play. I'm thinking I could do Zelda Link to the Past with that crowd control thing where players can like attack me with cuckoos and all that stuff, or maybe I could do uh, more Mega Man, because you know I've been doing Mega Man all week, people like the Mega Man, but maybe a different game, not this one. Um, or I could do more Mega Man 11, whatever people want to see then. It's a bonus stream. It's it's for you guys. Whatever y'all want to see me do. I could do Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I don't know. Whatever. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, no. The bots in shock. You're right. I didn't get one of my slides. Ah, jeez. Is there a classic Mega Man I do? Only 11. 11 is the only classic game I know how to speedrun. I could try to learn one of the other speedruns. That's what I could do on Thursday. Because, I mean, they're pretty short games. They're not very long. Like learning Mega Man 1 or Mega Man 2. I wouldn't take all day to like do a you know somewhat decent speedrun I think. Ah, I was so close! I was so close! I almost saved it, but I panicked a bit. Ah, oh, my thought process. I wasn't uh I wasn't all in there, man. I could have had that. I could have had that. I should have had it. But my mind is elsewhere. Whoops, I don't have any of that. If I had been more focused, I definitely would have made that. If Naughton, you know, if Naughton would have stuck around for a little bit longer, like after, you know, the $40 donation man, trying to see what he wants to see me play, but he vanished into the Aether. <laughs> Almost messed that up. Got the E-Tank? Yeah, I usually skip the E-Tank, but I was on autopilot, so I ended up grabbing it, because that's my old routing. My old routing grabs it. Ah, 
I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. Like, it's so rare that I need that E tank. If I do need it, it'll be on, like, modern stage. And, like, even then, like, I just gotta play really, really carefully, and I should be fine. Um, I added in all the votes. No worries, Catrolius. I appreciate you looking out, though. And dude, that's super impressive that you got the sub-40. I'm still in shock. I didn't expect it, or I expected it, but honestly, didn't expect it until next week or after that. Oh, dude, it was tough, man. It was tough. Like, yesterday, I was on, like, four runs that were on sub-40 uh, pace, but I choked every single one of them. And then there was one run today before the, uh, B run. That was on pace, too. It was on a much bigger pace than the one I ended up getting, actually. Because I had a gold bounceman. My PV has a, uh, minus 20 seconds to bounceman. Hey man, work with what you got. Oh, I did not make that jump. Oh my goodness, dude. God, he forgot to do this. I'll, I'll grab it. So many mistakes have been made. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna take this real chill and casually. I'm not gonna get stressed about having the best run. I just I just got my PB. I'm allowed to make mistakes. It's fine. <laughs> Casual speed run, exactly. I mean, I'm still gonna be trying my best, obviously. Gotta try my best. I'm just not gonna stress about it. I I achieved my goal today. I'm so happy. Dodging all the spiders. The lady spiders. Oh, I have really low impact. Yeah, um about that. Ooh, I wasn't sure if I could make that, but we did. We did it, man. Let's go. So much. Yeah, are we in there? Or tell me the music in this game isn't just like ridiculously amazing. Let's see, uh, Controller says, yeah, I figured you'd keep choking and start getting, uh, salty because you keep messing up on something stupid. You take a break and finally make it. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, never took that break. Never took that break. I just decided to get good. Decided to get good. And Blastic saying, seriously though, Grat sub 40 is so cool. Oh, I'm so happy, I really am. I can't believe I got it, dude. The 3941. The music isn't ridiculously amazing. Kappa? Yeah, you'd have to put a Kappa at the end of that. Ishande says, the music is good, but it's different. I understand why people don't like it. Um, the music that you're probably thinking of isn't this one. This is the DLC music. Most people that complain about the Mega Man music complain about the, uh, the default music, because that's the only one they have. And, um, in my opinion, the default music's really good, but I can understand why people don't like it. Because it's, uh, a lot of people, their preferences towards Mega Man soundtracks is very Mega Man-esque, and Mega man X is, like, very, like, I don't know, like, metal, or at least, like, I how to phrase it. Oops, not the powered version of that thing. Yeah, also like the later like X4, X5, they do what? What's it called? It's not like J-pop. It sounds really like electronic, I guess. Is that what it's called? I'm not a music guy. Yeah, the classic, uh, the 
classic soundtrack for this game. Yeah, not everybody's into it. I think it's so good though, especially Fuse Man stage. But yeah, the instrumental DLC is not what people talk about when they complain about this music. Oops, I keep hitting the power gear for some reason. Yeah, you're the first person I think I've seen say anything like that as John Dai. Everybody loves this music, the instrumentals. They're like, oh, they should have made the instrumentals the default music. I mean, the only thing I think I've seen anyone say was, uh, Naughton pointing out how, like, Torchman's music doesn't really fit a stage, and I would agree with that. I don't think it fits, but it's still just amazing to listen to regardless. It is, um... I don't know, it's a little free-flowing and relaxing, and the stage is not relaxing. Fan voice, why isn't it 8 bit? It needs to be 8 bit. Duh. Is it really Mega Man if it's not 8 bit? He jumps so fast. He doesn't normally jump that fast. The bass music is king of basic EDM stuff. Like Beginner House, you love it. But like, uh, I know a lot of people that don't like, uh, even Mega Ran doesn't like it. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I don't know. Uh, I'm not very picky when it comes to music. I'm really not. When it comes to, like, Mega Man... <laughs> like, Mega Man doesn't have bad music. Like, it doesn't. It, it just... it doesn't. Like, Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... All amazing soundtracks. 11? Same! Uh, instrumentals or the default. I think they're both great. I don't know what people are looking for in the music. I mean, I think some people are looking for Mega Man X, and I think they're looking in the wrong spot. But like, the more classic fans, I have no idea. Instrumentals so great, you listen to it when working out? Oh, do you? You know, fair enough. I can't hit him anymore. I've never hit him at all today. I don't I don't know why. I'm doing the same thing I always do, but it's not working anymore. Is it, is it like a global timer? Is his position based on like something far earlier in the stage and different movement is causing a difference there? I feel like I should be hitting him. Mr. Wheel Guy. Yo, forget Blastman. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like Blastman's on the germs. He makes me mad. I mean, I like his design. I really do. It's just the fight. He's so hard. He's so mean. He wasn't so mean to me, I'd like him more. Use main instrumental 100% on your workout playlist. <laughs> you know, fair enough. You're going to be when you start working out? That's fair too. <laughs> Yo, I already got my PB. I got my PB to the sock, dude. I promise to do no reset runs today. I'm still doing them. We're doing the no resets. If I'm behind, that's fine. I'll just have to do better in the stage. You know, submit my foundations. Get good. Like, I'm trying to think, like, X7? I can't remember what X7 soundtrack is like, but I would assume that it probably has bad tracks, because X7 is not the greatest game. But I can't remember if, like, the only thing was, like, Flame Heinard and the music was actually good, and it just had a lot of 
sound effect problems, and the boss has just popped over good music? Or maybe the music was bad. It's how like the sound effects and all the glitches and the collision problems, I don't know. X7's music music is fine? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember. <laughs> Blastwick saying, X7 is not the greatest game. Charitable. <laughs> I try to stay positive, right? Because I have a bit of a bad habit of sometimes like really ripping into games like Final Fantasy XIII, Mega Man X7, and Sonic 06 are games I tend to like rip into sometimes. And like there are people that love those games. Like it might have been like their first ever Mega Man game or their first ever Sonic game, their first Final Fantasy, whatever. And like I'm not trying to like make people have a bad time with me like, you know, talking bad about a game that they care about passionately. You know, at the end of the day, games are subjective, so even if I dislike certain things about a game, I don't want to be overly negative about it. I have been in the past, I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to be more positive when talking about games I don't like. Someone out there loves it fondly? Exactly. You know, the songs are good for focusing? That's good. I knew I was dead. As soon as I did the first impact, I knew I died. Yeah, I have a lot of trouble with that section. I'd say I have over 50% death. Uh, it, yeah, over 50% death right there. I die there a lot. I'm trying not to. Pretty sure I died there in my PD. Yep. Ran out of, uh, ran out of juice right there. Over 50%? Yeah, I die there a lot. If I go to that stage three times, four times, good chance I'm gonna die here twice. Games are su subjective, but there are still horrible games. Well, yeah, but oh, I don't think you have to like go into it, right? Like, if there's a game you don't like, you can just like not talk about it. Not that I'm saying no one should not talk about bad games or anything like that. It just depends on, like, the situation, right? Oh, he's- no, don't leave me! Don't leave me! I need you! Like, I'm the streamer myself, so... I think in my spot, I shouldn't bad talk games. If I was just someone in chat, then it'd be different. Like, hey, Super 2, yo! Why are you saying good things about Ming Man X7? Game's Gabo, and you Gabo for not saying it's Gabo. <laughs> I don't know why they gotta talk like that, but. Let's get yeah, no, I'm trying, I'm trying not to. Uh, Control says, no, I'm not talking about not liking the game things, I'm talking about games being actual trash. There are plenty of those, and I agree. I'm just still saying, if a game's actual trash, maybe I shouldn't talk about it too much. Like, take uh, The Wizard of Oz for Super Nintendo. That is a game that uh, has quite a few problems. You know, it's, uh, like, it's very confusing with the background and foreground elements. You know, what you can, like, collide with via the platform and what can hurt you. You know, because it's like, oh, that's a bird in the background. No, that, that bird... It has a, uh, tangible hitbox. That, that game has some problems, but I'd rather just, you know, not say too much about it. <laughs> oh man, one day I'll be good at the beginning of the Fuse Man stage. I don't know when that day is, but I look forward to it profusely. I really do.
There we go. I barely got that block dropper out in time. Oh, what do I need fire? There you go. Fuck out! That was nice. That's a good way to take that section. Oh, I just been a little bit faster. More power. You tell him, Mega Man. Uh, Blastwick says, to be honest, I feel like people always feel like things they like gotta be good too. It's okay to like bad games. It really is. I agree with you. Like, I love, uh, Bubsy 2. Bubsy 2 is a game I played a lot when I was a little kid. I beat that game multiple times. It, it is a, it's a bad game. It, it is. I don't doubt that. But, you know, I understand how people feel. And if, like, all it takes is me, you know, flopping my words around a little bit to not make someone feel uncomfortable, I'm okay with doing that. Oops, I did not get that. A little too slow. <laughs> Yo, you told me, you told me trash game controlling your side. I just came up with the first thing I could think of. And Doctor says, I never actually listened while you we were playing this game before, but dang, do these levels kind of make music. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, man. The music in Mega Man 11 is really, really good. Orchestral tracks, best tracks? Yeah, they really are. And yo, Mumu Akai's in here. Saying good luck here, thanks, man. Yo, we did it, though. We did it, Mumu. I got, uh, I got the sub 40. I got the sub 40, man. Last run. I'm so happy, dude. I've been trying to get this sub 40 for like the past two weeks, and I finally got it today. Oh man, it took so much practice, so much playing the game. Yup, yup, we in there, man, we in there. Sub 40 life. 3941. It, it actually should be a 3940. I split late, but I'll like, you know, handle that later. <laughs> It can it can look like a 3941 for now. That's good enough for me. All that matters is that it's under the 40 minute mark. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I did get the baby spider. Oh man! If there's anything I hate in this game, it is baby robot spiders. I hate them so much. They really, really do. I mean, I also really hate uh, bounce man stage. But aside from that, aside from hating the entire stage. The enemy I hate more than any other enemy are those gosh darn baby robot spiders. Because they're so low to the ground, man. You can't hit them. They just laugh at you when you try. They're like, aha, he tried to jump over, or tried to shoot me. That's real cute, Mega Man. Think your buster can reach that low? Bad douche. No, my buster can't reach that low. It cannot. I wish it could. I would dispense some good justice on those baby robot spiders if I could. They deserve it. My controller says, Vinks, I would like your opinion. Do you consider this game a classic Mega Man, or do you think it's more a style of its own? It's absolutely a... Absolutely a classic Mega Man. There's nothing about it that makes it not classic. I mean, if your idea of classic Mega Man is 8-bit, then I guess not. I'm pressing all the wrong button. But the way the stages are designed, it's it's all the same. It's all the same. The way, uh, oh my goodness, it's, it's the best one. Like, it definitely stands apart from the other classics. Because, like, what really holds back the classics, in my opinion, and you know, this is completely subjective, but what holds them back is how non-dynamic they are. Which, to be fair, most of the classics, 1 through 6, are on the regular Nintendo. But there's only so dynamic they could be, there's limitations in place. But, you know, 7 and 8, they push, they push those boundaries, 
8 did some pretty cool things that I really, really like. Um, 9 and 10 went backwards, and I'm not very happy about that. Despite the fact that they went backwards, 9 and 10 are some of the most dynamic of the games. Like, as far as, like, their stages are constructed, I still think they take a backseat to 8, in just my opinion. But, um, yeah, 9 and 10 are really well made. And then 11, it takes a lot of elements from all of those games. Uh, the levels are, like, the kind of length of Mega Man 8, without being quite as gimmicky. Um, and yeah, to be fair, that's kind of the big thing 9 and uh, 10 really had going for them. A lot of their platforming sections were, like, these single mechanics that were being introduced into the levels. There isn't a lot of that in Mega Man 11. Not so much. Like, it does exist. I mean, Bounce Man stage itself, but... No, for the most part, like, the stage is the way they are made. The rooms are very, very similar to what you would see in Mega Man 1 through 10. It's just, again, the way the power gear, the speed gear works, the pile driver, just all the weapons in this game. It just gives you so many options, so many things that you can do. And that's... Cause, like, that's a big thing, right? Another big thing is just the fact that every single weapon in this game is good. There isn't a single bad weapon. And of course, like, for me, I prefer Mega Man games that are, um, give Mega Man more options. I love active weapon swapping, which, uh, like, 1 through 6 and 9 don't have. I also love sliding, I love charging the Mega Buster. Those other games don't have that. Ooh, I almost grabbed it without that. Uh, the power gear is such an amazing thing, because it, you know, augments every single special weapon and gives it, you know, more utility. It's just so good. But yeah, as cool as the power gear and speed gear are, they don't change the game so much that it becomes something distinct from the others, in my opinion. Whoops, I wasn't supposed to grab that with that. That should be fine. Like, it definitely stands apart from the other Mega Mans, but it's still just another classic Mega Man. And that's not a bad thing. Classic Mega Man games are great. I enjoy them profusely. But I definitely enjoy this one more than all the others. So, guess who tried to jump and got a slide? Guess who tried to jump and got a slide? Take a wild guess, show of hands! Show of hands, everybody! Do you know? Do you know who tried to jump? <laughs> you did. <laughs> yup, that's right, you guessed it. It was me. Yo, I'm proud of you. I don't know, I don't know how you knew, but you knew. Oh, I don't have any rest, do I? No, I have some rest. Can I get up there? I'm going this way. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what do you win? You win, um, the realization that I don't have enough HP to do this fight with the normal strategy that I use. So, I gotta dodge at least one of these, man. But, like, I have to take the damage, too, so it's, like, difficult. No! I did not get it yet. Yeah, no, it's dead. Let that go. Let it go. I tried I tried to save it. I tried to save it. I, I didn't do it. Oopsie doopsies. Tundra E-Tank? Oh yeah! I did have an E-Tank from Tundra, didn't I? I've been not getting the E-Tank. I forgot I had it. Completely forgot. Oopsie doopsies. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsies. Yeah, I'm well known for my uh, lack of memory. That was like 30 minutes ago. How am I supposed to remember that? Uh, Zappa Jones, good thing it was in this run and not the last one. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, nah, man. If I'm gonna make my mistakes, let's make our mistakes in the run that, you know, is already well into the red. Not on our PV run. But yeah, no, we got that PB, we got the sub 40, 39-40, I mean it says 41, but it's probably a 40. 
I was uh, not the fast. Oops, I was not the fastest when pushing the buttons. Not so much. Yeah, Inviso, he clicked it. He clicked it, and uh, apparently I pressed the button a little slow. I'm okay with this. He will fix it in the near future. Oh, hey! I didn't get hit by that. Ah, he shot me. Old Sniper Joe for a reason, man. He's got the snipes. I'll take that. That's not. <laughs> that's not the right ability. I have to damage boost to go through him? Oh, what? The Yellow Devil? Have you never... You never, uh, saw me, like, practice for that and stuff, man? It's the double gear technique. To use both the speed gear and the power gear at the same time is called the double gear technique. It can only be used when I believe Mega Man's at 4 HP or less. I want to say it's 4 HP. It might be 5, but I want to say it's 4 HP. Oh, I'm at a Tundra. <laughs> Whoops, I was like, why is it not working? That's slightly problematic. He's so beefy. turned off Rush. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doopsies. Call me Mr. Butterfingers. Mr. Butterfingers. Yo. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that, Zombie Jones. That's cool stuff, man. Alright, there we go. Ah, I'm out of fire! Ah! Uh... Alright, alright. Well, we may have messed up the stage, but let's dial on this boss. Let's try to get the perfect fight. Normally I can't do it because I don't have the HP. You didn't know you could turn Rush uh, off while on his back? Yes, yes you can. <laughs> You sure can. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. It's a bad idea. It's not good for your HP. I almost had him. <laughs> one day, one day I'll get the perfect Malvern fight. It's so precise though. Cause it's like you gotta you gotta hit the two bounce balls. And you want to rapid fire those. And then like you got to move right into him to like damage boost. And you have to be far enough to the right that when you jump up and hit him with the power pile driver, you'll land on that middle platform. And then from there you have to again uh, get another uh, bounce ball hit on him. But that one you can't rapid fire. Because it, uh, it won't go in. Uh, it won't go in at that angle. His shield will block it. We gotta time that just right. Did I forget to use an M tank or something? No, I, I died, so I didn't have as much use as I would have liked to have. Dying uh, always, always messes up all my strategies. Impromptu Mega Man 11 Buster only run. I should, yeah, I should do that, man. I should do that, that would be fun. I mean, because, like, I hit my goal, man. I wanted to get sub 40. Doing Buster only could be interesting. I've never done Buster only before.
In fact, I haven't done Buster only in any Mega Man game before. Because, like, I speedrun X1 through 5, and I've never done Buster only in any of them. I've done low percent in Mega Man X3, which is so hard. I'm never doing that again. But yeah, I've done I've done that. And that's really difficult. But yeah, low percent and Buster only are two completely different things. Yeah, no, I understand Zob Dunes. Troll says, uh, did- Oh yeah, I already read that. Hey, caught up with chat, I'm the best. Yo, that top level chat engagement, keeping up with chat mid-speed run. Oh, that's a miss. I love catching him in the air, man. It feels it feels good. It feels real nice. Crowley says, dude, you've never done Buster Only? I have a suggestion. In the X collection, there's a boss rush in the challenge area. There's a boss rush that is Buster Only, you should do it. Oh yeah? That's interesting. Oh no, I'm definitely interested in doing Buster Only. Oh, it's a uh, Legacy Collection, not X Collection. Oh, I don't know if I could Buster Only a boss rush <laughs> in the Legacy Collection, the original ones. I don't know those games half as well. I really don't. I've beaten all the classic Mega Man games. At least twice, some of them more than that. But that's not a lot. <laughs> I've beaten Mega Man X2 more times than, like, I even know. I'm sure I've beaten it probably about a hundred times. That's not the right thing! You're not, you're not close enough to get hit by that. I really wish you were. Yeesh, now what do I do? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the, oh jeez. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What makes X3 low percent, no armor or anything? Yeah, no armor, no upgrades. That is uh, the hardest way to play Mega Man ever, in my opinion. X3, low percent, has to be one of the hardest forms of Mega Man, period. That game is ridiculous. Yeah, nah, if I were to do a Buster Only Run Controlius, I'd rather do it with a game I'm, like, more, uh more aware of, one that I know better, more knowledgeable about. Not knowing any of the boss patterns seems like a bad idea. Also, to unlock it, you have to do a challenge to Buster only each of the game's bosses. Oh, okay, so yeah, if I don't even have it unlocked, I can't do it anyways. <laughs> Love the older games. Yeah, no, that's all good, man. I like classic Mega Man, I really do. But my favorite would have to be the X games. I like the X games quite a bit more. But 11, 11 is special. 11 is so good, man. Such an amazing game. Haha, <laughs> you thought you were too quick for me. That's where you're wrong, buddy. Nick of time, yup. That's what the speed gear is for. That was clean. That was really nice. Yo, 
go. That'll do it. 4309. Gold split on Dr. Wiley. Gold split on Dr. Wiley. Let's go, dude. Up, Wiley. Oh, man. I'm getting better at that fight. I'm getting way better at that Dr. Wiley fight, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love this. I love this so much, man. But yeah, yeah, let's uh let's let's keep running it, man. I planned on doing Mega Man 11 all day today. I might have gotten my sub 40 PB already, but yeah, no, we can do some more no reset runs. But yeah, uh give me just a second. I'll be right back and then we'll do another run. I'm the greatest. I'm a genius.